hi there welcome back to my channel welcome to another pentatonics monday i'm sorry for not being around last week but i was really ill i was in bed all week um but now we're back and I'm so excited to continue the sing-off series because a lot of you have told me that from this performance on, the seventh one, they're just going to keep getting better and bigger and more pentatonics as each show um, goes on. So I'm really excited to watch the seventh one. It's um, them singing Born to be Wild and I'm curious as to what all of you were talking about. So. I know they were amazing up until this point, but if you guys tell me that this is the one of the best ones, then I'm going to believe you. Um, so yeah, we're just going to head on in and um, continue our series and um, I'm happy to be back. <laughs> I've missed watching them. <laughs> Last week, Pentatonix delivered a powerful and sexy Britney Spears medley. This was so good. You guys are techno acapella DJs to me. <laughs> this is a big deal to all of us. Some of us are missing school for this, so we're making a big sacrifice, but it's amazing because we're still here and um, we feel great about it. This week, we're doing rock. Oh, this is hard to do rock and like feel it. With rock, you have a rhythm and a lead guitar, bass, drums, background singers. We don't have enough voices for that. They were one of the smallest wild, groups, sing the solo. right? I am glad we got the song Born to be Wild because our group is so wild, but we're not a heavy metal group, so capturing this is going that to be rock insane. has been kind of hard for us. <laughs> Right, I'll show you. Oh, Our biggest no. struggle in the rock song is her getting her park. She's been really sick. She was like vomiting last night. And she's losing her voice. Oh, the no. show's been so hard on her. Like a true <laughs> okay, wait, wait, right here, right here, right here. It's just like making it really hard to put everything together because we're always missing a person. And we don't have 16 people to hide behind. If we're missing a person, we're missing pentatonics. True. We're going really soon. That's what I've said before. A lot of people um, have opinions about if pentatonics was better with avi or with matt or if it should be like this or it should be like that nope every single one of them avi matt all of them are pentatonics like you need all of them for pentatonics to work and replacing avi with matt doesn't even sound right because avi is not replaceable but Matt is such a good addition to Pentatonix. It's an addition to an already incredible group. And I'm really worried about how the performance is going to go. And I don't want to feel like that force that's holding down our group. We want to win this so badly. Oh, she looks it's so really tired. Hard. I just hope my voice will hold out. You can do it. Show off their wild side. Performing Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Here's Pentatonix. Let's go. Okay, I'm listening to that again. Um, the start. Wow. <laughs> Avi and Kevin. Incredible. And also, Scott's voice is perfect for rock because he has this raw edge to it. He also can sing really light, but you can hear the little growl coming already. Kevin is coming off. Oh, 
Okay, Kevin is going off. But these little moments of suspense where he just where everything stops, they're just quiet for a while and then and then they continue. That is so such a good way to keep people like what's about to happen? What's about to happen to keep people like drawn into you? But let's just appreciate Kevin for a moment. This is insane. I totally can see why Kirsty was losing her voice. Like the backup vocals by Mitch and Kirsty, I've said this before, but they're such a huge support system to Scott when he's singing the lead. Um, they're just as powerful. They're not in the background at all. They're such a huge part of the song and they're so... Listen to Kirsty sing that note again because it's so high. And Mitch is doing the same, but... That's so high! Ooh. Okay, I want to see that last part again. Avi and Gavin going against each other. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. I have goosebumps. I have a little bit of goosebumps. Guys. Let's go ahead and go to the experts. Sarah, what'd you think? <laughs> um, you blow my mind consistently. Wow. That was Ooh. incredible. <laughs> You know, listening to you guys talk earlier about sacrifice for your passion for music, and there's always going to be sickness, there's always going to be missing school, there's going to be missing your friends, your family. It's about hoping it's all going to be worth it. This is one of those moments where I'm looking at you guys going, it's worth it. You mm -hmm. are worth it. So true. That was really good. Chrissy, I can't even believe you were sick. I, I, I couldn't tell at all. So, Scott, great lead. That was rad, you guys. That was really cool. All right, Sean. It's amazing what comes out of you five. You guys True. sound so big and strong every time you guys True. come out. And, and, golly, man, Avi. <laughs> Dude, the whole drive behind rock music is the rhythm and the bass. That's what gives it that, ah, uh, that grunt music. And... Avi and Kevin, guys. Mm. So true. You I'm. Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. I don't know why. They just make me emotional because I'm so proud of them. They're the heroes of this whole record. And it just <laughs> sounded so full and powerful. And it was nice how you guys did the Easy Rider thing. Mm. Overall, guys, that performance was amazing. You guys just continue to amaze us. <laughs> ben, your thoughts? You always have a, uh, a couple tricks up your sleeve, and they're entertaining, and they're also propelling the song really well. Uh, Kirsty, I thought you did great. I'm, I'm glad it didn't have to be uh, quadratonics tonight. That was <laughs> been unfortunate. I guess you kids know that uh, the word heavy metal was coined in this very song. Heavy metal thunder, that's where it came from, and that's why we now have heavy metal in the lexicon. So uh, nice work. You guys rocked. All right, thank you, judges. We'll see Pentatonix again in the second half of the show. Thank you, guys. After the break, the college men of the Dartmouth Airs take a crash course in hair bands with Twisted Sister. And at the end of the night, one group will be dropped from the competition. The sing-off is on. Oh, oh there's no... <laughs> I was waiting for, like, the, the final 
little clip at the end where there wasn't one. When I first started watching them, I would have never thought that I would get emotional by watching just a video of their performances, but I'm really glad to be watching them from the beginning, although I wasn't at the beginning, but seeing them grow and seeing like the sacrifices they uh, had to do for getting big like they are now is just making me emotional. <laughs> and also just because I'm not feeling 100% yet, um, but I, I guess you guys understand. You are one of the most amazing communities of people I've ever come across on YouTube. And I'm just so grateful for you all for guiding me through this entire process and uh, for being by my side every single week. I love seeing comments from people every single week, like the same people uh, watching these videos with me. And it I just really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching again this week. Please leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe, and then I will see you in the next one. Bye.